everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here with a concoction video. I've been wanting to make my mother some chocolate chip cookies using the ready-made dough, and I just never get around to it. But it's cold. It is like negative one Fahrenheit right now, and in this old house, I can feel that cold air pouring in and my lovely heat escaping through those same cracks. So I thought I'd turn the oven on and bake something. I'm going to be adding things to this. But what I'm going to do right now, since I just took these out of the fridge and I don't feel like waiting until they get to room temperature, I'm just going to cut them up a little bit. And that'll just let them uh, soften a little bit quicker. And then I'll be able to roll them up and do whatever I want. I went and grabbed various ingredients from her side of the house. Her um, miniature marshmallows, walnuts. Ooh, I could go get some raisins. I forgot about that. And what else do I have? I even have a graham cracker. And I brought these two little things. I was like, what are those? I didn't get you those. I guess my sister had got her a bag. They're chocolate with, uh, she said there's a cookie in there. So I'll use those two things. She has a whole bunch of them, but I grabbed two. And I have chocolate chips here, but I don't need chocolate chips because there's already chocolate chips in this. Let me go get a couple of raisins. I'm going to let this sit here until I can, you know, form a ball, and I'll be back. That didn't take long at all. I can already roll a ball. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to figure out what I want to do. This one, I think I will be putting this on the cookie sheet as is... And then I, I don't even have to press it down. I'd like to remember like two minutes before they're done cooking. I want to put a couple of miniature marshmallows on that one. So that guy's done. Now let's make one with some raisins. So she's going to have a variety. Just thought it would be fun to try some different things. And I'm just going to put some raisins in with this. Wow, that's a lot of raisins. Stay in there, raisins. I think she'll really like this one. All right, good enough. On the cookie sheet. Okay, let's do some walnuts. I'm hoping to make, you know, fairly big cookies. Wow, that's a lot of walnuts, too. <laughs> I would like to make one with walnuts and raisins. I have no idea if any of this is going to come out good. I don't know if I've made cookies. I haven't made cookies in a long time, but cookies like this um, from the dough, we never really had that when I was growing up. They, they existed, but we just made from scratch. Okay, another one. You know, I'm going to try, since these are miniature marshmallows, I'm going to try putting one inside the cookie. I just don't like it when marshmallow seeps through because then it makes it very sticky, a sticky mess. But let's see if we can hide one or two in here. Can we do that? I think we can. It might still ooze a little bit, but we'll deal with it. Good. Now, I just, I don't know, I thought of crunching up some graham crackers and shoving that in a, in a cookie. Let's try it. Of course, I won't be able to tell you how these taste, but maybe it will encourage you to do some of your own experimenting. Well, I think I'm going to flatten this guy pretty good. Shove that shit in there. <laughs> and then just kind of like, I don't know, roll it up in there somehow. A couple of walnuts sticking on there too. Gee, I should have rolled them in powdered sugar too. Are my balls getting bigger? <laughs> I think they are. <laughs> I started with this and now I'm up to this. 
I don't want this one to be plain anymore. Now that I know I can hide a marshmallow in it. Okay, I can't get any bigger. What else do I have? Oh, I, I, have, I have these guys. Maybe I can stick that inside also. Cover it a little bit. That's going to be awful big. I don't want too big of a cookie. Let's take some of this off. And then let's see what we've got here. Well, I think I do need a little bit more. I'm trying to keep them even. All right. Next. What am I doing again? Can I make one with a little bit of everything? I think we'll do that. So let's just do like a little bit of raisins, a little bit of graham, uh, one marshmallow, <laughs> and just a little bit of walnuts. Let's even cut the marshmallow. Hmm, I don't like the marshmallow sticking out like that. Let's cover it. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing with Play-Doh. Alright, good enough. I'll put that white marshmallow part on top. Gee whiz, how many more of these do I have to make? <laughs> maybe two, maybe three. Okay, I have to think of something different. Look, I'm going to mix a little tiny bit of oatmeal in one. She likes oatmeal cookies. That should be okay with chocolate chip. Gee, I don't have them marked. We're never going to know what's what unless it's obvious like this. This is pretty obvious that there's oatmeal. There we go. I'm gonna have to get another pan. Now I don't know if I should add a lot of stuff to these and make two or just one. What does it look like as one? It's pretty big, but I'm kind of in the mood to be done. <laughs> and I have an idea. Hang on going to try like a peanut butter center. So here's my idea. I got my mother's creamy peanut butter. Maybe I can put a couple walnuts in it too. Maybe I can turn that into two. I don't know. But I'm going to just take a little bit of peanut butter in here. And then I thought I would thicken it with some powdered sugar. Make like a little instant fudge kind of thing. Let's just push this out now. Put that on here. Pretty sure I can just form a ball. Yeah, and I think we're going to separate this guy into two smaller ones. And let's separate the little peanut butter center also. It'll probably come oozing out, but Whatever. Okay. Let's try rolling it in some powdered sugar. Good. And this guy. So I have these three. And these, well, there's six. Maybe I'll put them four on a pan. Well, I ended up with nine. So I have five on one pan, four on the other. I'm just putting them both in. And I have the oven preheated to 350. And I'm going to assume like 15 minutes. I'll check them. I'll let you know. Going to do the dishes and clean up while they're baking. I always want to leave them in the oven because I feel like they're not cooked yet and then I always end up leaving them too long and then I regret because my mother likes them chewy. Now these are smaller than the ones on the other 
uh, cookie sheet. These two are the ones that were rolled in the confectionate sugar. So those have the peanut butter balls in them. And look, it didn't ooze out. And these, uh, this one is oatmeal. I can tell. I think. I don't know. Let's look at the others. The hell does that one have sticking out of it? <gasps> Walnuts. This one must have had the marshmallows or maybe that little chocolate covered cookie that just melted. I don't know. Isn't this exciting that it's going to be surprises? <laughs> my mother will be like, this was my favorite. Make more like this. And I'll be like, I have no clue what is in that cookie. So, <laughs> But hopefully it will give you an idea. I'm going to let these cool a little bit and then I'm going to take them off the uh, whatever. What the hell is this called? Cookie sheets. I think these came out great. Of course, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be nice and chewy. The bottoms are a little bit darker maybe than I would have liked, but, you know, there's certainly, well, that's a little bit darker even. But this one was in the powdered sugar, so maybe that's why. See, that might be the reason. Let's look at this one. Nah, not too bad. They're not burned. Oh, look at that. That came out great. Now, I wonder what was in these two that made them flatten out more. Oh, this is the oatmeal one. <gasps> I have a feeling this is going to be her favorite. See, darker there, raisins. When there's something really sugary, it might, uh, see, this, this isn't dark. Huh. Well, anyway, I had fun experimenting with that. And, uh, I hope you give it a try. I'm going to try sugar cookie dough also. And I'm just going to try to think up all kinds of things. Next time I go shopping, I'll have that in my head ball. What can I add to the cookie dough? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye!